So I just tuck in? Tuck in, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, this whole thing started and the first moment I sat down to eat a meal of food that I'd grown changed my life. That should be the first thing that we do at school. And actually that is even more satisfying because this is now much bigger than me and this farm. So this farm is part of a community of about 50 farmers called Wild Farmed. We're all growing in these biodiverse ways, trying to farm in nature's image, putting soil health first. And we're taking the grains that come out of that, turning that into flour and selling it to people who want to support that movement. At the moment, food coming from systems based around soil health is expensive and there's not much of it. But the, the problem there is that you say it's expensive, but actually the conventional food system is cheap in the supermarket, but it's actually costing us a fortune. If you look what it costs us in terms of like health costs, environmental costs, wildlife costs, it's costing us a fortune. In fact, one estimate done by the government recently put that number at 68 billion pounds a year which to make it sort of more imaginable is about 1200 quid per adult in the UK every year. So the good news is this, is like we know that we can create these farming systems that recreate diversity, that recreate soil health, that recreate habitat. The challenge now is we've got to do this at scale as fast as we can. This needs to be the way that we grow all of our food because the effects on the future of our planet will be transformational. The effects on human health will be transformational. And part of that is what Wild Farm is doing is bringing communities of farmers together, supporting them, giving them financial help, knowledge sharing until you and food buyers understand why this matters so much that is the biggest limiting factor on how quickly we can turn these things around the best way we've got of stabilizing the future in terms of climate and biodiversity and, and health are through our food choices